Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 14th Inkscape tutorial. If you haven't viewed our previous tutorials, you can find them on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And we will now start the tutorial, leaving off where we left off, or starting off where we left off in tutorial number 13. Alright, in tutorial number 13, we left off after we had finished tracing out this chicken here. Uh, now we're going to add some fill to some of this, uh, some of the objects we've created here and make it look a little bit more like a chicken. So let's go ahead and get started right away and let's grab this main chicken body area here and let's go ahead and go to control shift F that is the fill and stroke panel which is now pulled up and you can see that the stroke is black and the fill is none. Let's go ahead and change the fill to white and yeah, a little off white because this even though this chicken looks white to you, he's not quite white believe it or not so there he is got a white chicken and uh, I'm gonna adjust the opacity down here so we can still see what's underneath here and I'm gonna, you're gonna see why we'll do that here shortly alright next item let's grab the wing here and do basically the same thing with the fill and uh, you know if you want to match this color you can go over here to the color picker there you go same color and bring the opacity down with it as well okay let's do both of these the same color let's select them both at once go to the fill get us a you know, nice yellowish. Bring the opacity down. Now, what we're going to want to do is put these behind the main chicken body. So while they're still selected, we're going to just page down until they are both behind. Let's grab one at a time here. Let's grab the front foot, bring it down. And the back foot. Alright. Now you can still see them a little bit because it's transparent, but uh, we're going to fix that shortly. Now to the head. Let's zoom in here. Get it where we can see. And if we want to actually make this color the real color it is from behind, we can actually go down here and just select that color, just like that. Bring the opacity down. Next item, the beak. Let's do the same. Opacity down. On the eye. Let's go back to the uh, red area here and let's bring the opacity all the way down so we can see what color the eye was back there. So it's kind of a yellowish. The first thing we're going to do is bring these strokes down to a smaller level. Um, both selected. I'm going to go to stroke style and let's go bring it down to a 1. Okay. And I don't like how this is looking down like this. Let's move his eye up a little bit and we'll make it a darker gray and the inside here we'll make this color looks chickeny and we brought this red area back up on its opacity a little bit now we can get as detailed as we want in Inkscape but we're just going to do a basic chicken here so uh, let's go and bring these opacities back up now alright so there we go 
Alright, and something's wrong about this chicken, so let's add some shading a little bit to him here. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this body part by clicking on it, pressing, pressing Control D, which duplicates it. Then we're going to go down and select a gray for it and create a gradient. Let's create this gradient about, I think I like it about right here. Now we're going to bring this down some. So it's below the wing and below the face. Let's do the same with the wing. There we go. I don't quite like that. Let me do it again. I think that's better. Alright, let's uh, do one more thing and put a background on this chicken. Let's give him a How about, uh, how about a blue? Then we do... Let's bring it down. Let's do Control D. Create a gradient here. There's our basic chicken. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have worked on this chicken here for a little bit since since I cut, and you can see that I've done a lot more to it, and we're kind of constrained for time, and there's only so long somebody can sit there and just pay attention. So, uh, a lot of, I did a lot here um, off camera, but. Uh, there's nothing that I did here, as good as this may look, there's nothing that I did here that I haven't already shown you. There's gradients, there's um, objects, and all these objects, a lot of them are, uh, a lot of them are uh, set up so that you can, so that they're aligned with the edges of the other objects are on top of. I mean, everything here I've shown you. Let's zoom in here on the head. All this is here on the eye is a radial gradient. All Each one of these are just little objects that I drew. And yeah, some of this stuff can be a little bit time consuming. That's why I I can't sit here and do it all in a five minute video. But I hope that you can see if you've been going along with this throughout all of our tutorials. I hope you can see how some of the things that I've been teaching you, some of these basics of wax on, wax off type stuff. I hope you can see how some of this stuff is starting to come together. And I hope that you can start using some of this to create some, you know, magnificent digital designs. Just know that it takes practice, it takes patience, it takes time, and of course this will not be the last tutorial. We will do many, many more, and we will grow with you here at Learn Digital Design. Visit us on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com.